Whether you're a new cruiser or an experienced one, you have probably seen the latest trend in the cruise world, cruise ducks. As with any new trend that becomes popular, issues can arise. Hi, my name is Anne and I'm here from Wandering Hewitts and today we're going to introduce you to the wonderful world of cruise ducks. We are gonna talk about what they are, how to play the game, and some of the problems that you may encounter while you're on ship. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel or you've been around for a while, please like this video and subscribe so that you can be made aware of all of our new cruise related content that comes out each week. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about what is Cruising Ducks. So this is a game that started around 2018. And what happens is people get these little rubber ducks they find them online and they hide them around the ship. It's essentially a game of hide and seek. One of the fun parts about the game is finding the different ducks. This one, for example, little sailor guy, kind of cute. Sometimes people get ducks that are for holidays. I found this one on Easter Sunday. Sometimes people get ducks to represent their home state. For example, a little cowboy to represent Texas. I've even seen where people crochet or in other ways make their own ducks to hide around the ships. Sometimes people will put tags on their ducks, kind of like this one, that explain the rules of the game, sometimes include the ship, the dates of the sailings, and the people who have gone and distributed the ducks. The rules of the game itself are pretty simple. You find a duck, and then at that point, you have a couple of choices. You can either rehide the duck in a different location around the ship or keep it as a souvenir. Some people even put QR codes or other things on their tags to indicate that people should go to social media and take pictures with the ducks and share it with the group. Next, we're gonna get into some guidelines if you decide you're going to go out and hide some ducks. Realize there are no real formal rules to this game, but there are some general guidelines that most people have agreed to follow. First of all, it should go without saying that when you're making your tags, make sure you don't include any vulgarity or anything inappropriate. If this is a family-friendly game, you should never place your ducks in pools or hot tubs. The concern, of course, is that a little kid might see them, try to reach them, fall in, and could potentially drown. Avoid hiding ducks in retail stores. It might look like someone who's finding them is actually trying to steal something. Another concern is you should never hide ducks in a place where sanitation might be a concern, such as a spa treatment room, the buffet, any restaurant, locker rooms, or even restrooms. You should also be very wary of putting ducks outside because of the concern that they could potentially blow away and fall into the ocean, which isn't only illegal, but is also bad for the environment. Safety equipment should always be avoided as a place to hide your ducks. So don't put them in any of the lifeboats, fire extinguishers, or any other lamps that might potentially cause a fire or other safety concern. In general, your ducks should really be placed in an area that's relatively in plain sight. You shouldn't hide them behind books in a library or behind a towel station. Instead, they should be open and easy to find especially for children. If you're hoping to be a potential duck hunter, here's some tips to help you find ducks on your next cruise. First, realize this is not a reciprocal event. You can search for ducks even if you're not hiding them. They are a gift. When walking around the ship, stairwells and elevators are very popular places to hide them. So you may wanna try a different route to different places while you're looking for ducks. Time of day is really important when you're looking for ducks. A lot of people report that they hide them either early in the morning or later at night because there's fewer people around. Another tip when out looking for ducks is you might need to revisit the same area multiple times. We've noticed when we've been out hiding ducks that they're usually found within 10 or 15 minutes. So just because you've gone through one area of the ship doesn't mean that someone else hasn't hidden a duck. So keep going and looking. Finally, it's important to realize that it is a game that a lot of people are playing. So be kind and share the wealth. 
One thing that we do is we will keep one or two as a souvenir, and if we find any other ducks, we just rehide them. It brings more people into the game. Over the last few years, cruising duck game has become a little bit controversial. First, one, a number of people have complained that some passengers have behaved inappropriately with ducks they found. For example, some ducks have been thrown overboard, found in the plumbing of the ship, and other things that just ruin the game for everyone. For example, some people were hiding ducks in lamps and causing them to melt and cause a fire. That can definitely be problematic for everyone on board. Another common complaint that you'll find on the internet are people complaining that staff have been taking ducks for themselves. Now I'm not talking about staff throwing them away, although that also is a common complaint. I'm talking about staff actually keeping ducks that they find for themselves. A number of crew members have reported that this is something that is very common below deck. Crew like to sometimes find the ducks, have games amongst themselves, and really enjoy taking the ducks home to their own children when their contract is done. Because of these and some other controversies around cruising ducks, a number of the major cruise lines have been forced to weigh in on the practice. Both Carnival and Royal Caribbean, two of the larger cruise lines serving the American market, have commented that they are not going to stop the practice. Brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Lines, John Heald, indicated in a statement that the game brings joy to many people. So he wants people to enjoy that while on a Carnival cruise. Disney Cruise Line announced in early 2024 that they no longer want passengers hiding any items around their ships. A number of people online have reported that they still see the game being played on Disney ships, but you might just want to leave your ducks at home if you're going to be sailing with Disney. So have you played the duck game on a cruise ship? Have you hidden them? Have you found any? Tell us your stories down below in the comments. We'd love to hear your experiences. We really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And again, if you haven't, please subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all of our cruise related information. We hope to see you when we're out wandering around on our next cruise.